This video shows how to hook trading signals to a webhook in TradingView platform. Trading with technical indicators are very popular within traders. But, when we stitch them with trading bot, then you can get away with lots of cash, if you get it right. I will walk through on how to configure the TradingView alert feature, which can generate alert, on certain technical indicator conditions are met, which in turn can generate a webhook, to be consumed by the your trading bot. But, what's webhook? The main difference between API and webhook is, API is triggered manually by a client, which asks the server to get some data, for which the server respond with the relevant information asked for. But, webhook is set to be triggered with any schedule or any configured conditions met automatically. If you have not used TradingView platform, this is their platform which is really powerful with technical analysis. The link to this website is visible on the top, which is tradingview.com. This is their charting area to display the price chart of the symbol along with all the indicators selected. TradingView supports lots of predefined and published technical indicators, they are so powerful. You can also create one using PineScript, but that's not the context of this video and I will not be covering it here. I will be using the Supertrend indicator for today's alert configuration. You can see the buy and sell signals, I am going to use that as an alert to trigger the webhook. See, there is one buy signal just popped up. I will be using BTC USD in the 1 minute chart for today's purpose, since it will be easy to trigger alerts in a short time for this video. Again, there are other tools in TradingView platform which are really cool, but that's not the scope here and I will be focusing on the alerts with webhooks. Let's click the alert, which will bring up the alert tab on the side. Here is where you will creating your alert, but before that I need to set up the webhook receiver. I will not be showing how to implement the webhook receiver as part of this video, but I will start them so I can show when the alert gets generated with webhook, I can receive them on the webhook receiver, which is an API server running on the cloud. I am running them on a Linode cloud hosting service. Let's create an alert by clicking here, this will open up a pop-up where you can select the super trend condition. This will have three signals, buy, sell and direction change. We will first select the super trend buy for this alert. Select when do you want this alert to be triggered. Since you want this to be triggered for every buy signal, let's select the once per bar close. Give the alert a name, let's give as super trend buy. The message can be anything you want, it can be a simple text or a dynamic value. This is supported by TradingView itself like the close price, time, plot. For this, we will just have this text for now and proceed with the create. Before that, let's get to the notification, which is the important part here. There are multiple ways to generate the notifications, like notify on app, show a pop-up, email and the webhook. This is what we are going to look at it here. This is the webhook URL which is hosted in the Linode API server, this has to be a public IP address which is reachable from TradingView. This video will not cover that part, we'll have another video which will focus just on setting up the Linode with API server having public IP address. Now, let's create the alert. Now you can see the alert on the right hand side tab, now for creating the sell signal, let's right click and clone the alert. One bug here I see is that the right click made the alert in pause mode, let's start it again. Since this is a clone, it will have the same settings, we just need to edit the values for sell. Update the condition to be sell. Change the alert name to sell. For the message, here now I am going to use some JSON value which can be passed. I am going to send, the ticker, alert type and then the close price. Notification is same as the buy. Now we have the buy and sell alert, once the alert conditions are met, it will show up in the below widget. Also, the webhook signal will show up in the below webhook receiver window. Now, we need to wait for the condition to be met. I think there might be one sell alert coming soon. If you notice, though the sell signal shows up but the alert did not come, since the condition is to trigger the alert on bar close. Okay, finally the bar closed and the sell signal is true, we got the alert. Got the pop up, alert log and also the webhook receiver got the message. Since for sell alert, we had the JSON with all the values, we can see all those data like ticker, alert type and price. We can get more dynamic info, which is in TradingView documentation. Now, we need to wait for the buy signal to see the other side. I am pausing the video for a while until it get close to generating one. Okay. Now we got the buy signal. In this case, we see the message with just a static text message which we have set. 
Now let's see how to clear the log and delete all the alerts. First let's clear all the logs here. Now, we can right click and delete the alerts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to watch similar videos and help my channel. Thank you. See you in another video.